Welcome to the Metal Lifestyle Magazine Show. I'm your host, Karina Felix. Join me each week on this exciting new magazine TV platform as I bring in guests that will discuss everything from spiritual growth, personal awareness, and business success. Join us as we share our journeys and inspire you to live a meaningful life, serve a higher purpose, and make a global impact. Hello, 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 and welcome to Meta Lifestyle Magazine, the source for enhancing, impacting, and transforming lifestyles. I am so excited that you're here to share this moment with me. This is, has been a dream that I've had for such a long time, and I can't believe it has manifested. Of course I can. You know, whatever you put out to the universe, if you are totally believing the process, whatever you ask for eventually does show up in your, uh, you know, physical world. And today, I would like to also um, introduce my co-host, Ms. Nandini Gozin Moira. <laughs> right? Did I get it right? No. Actually. I never get it right. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Nandini Gosain Miru, and I am so delighted to be here today co-hosting this show with Karina. Thank you for inviting me, Karina. Welcome. Welcome. So we have a fun, fun show, but what I wanted to say is Nandini is here because, as you know, I published my first issue of the Meta Lifestyle magazine, and um, Nandini is one of my writers as well, and in this edition, she wrote quite an interesting story, um, was about a, a stroke of love, you call that, right? Yes. And it was about a relationship that you had with your mom. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more of how that's, you know? Um, it's a story about a difficult relationship, um, you know, but as we grow older and we learn to accept um, certain experiences and we learn that these are lessons for us. And, you know, I talk about when my mom was very ill when I was quite young and what has transitioned between that time and the time that she became ill again with a stroke much, much later in life. It's a very... Um, inspiring story I've been told by people. It has helped a lot of people who's, who've had diff difficult parental relationships um, to come to a place of healing, for which I'm very grateful. You know, it's interesting because we all have our own relationship with our parents. And sometimes in my case, I had to, you know, tell myself you know they too were young ones and they too had dreams and they too had their whatever that issue was and um and it's almost like it's not so much forgiving them as kind of forgiving yourself and kind of letting it go and accepting that maybe that was the best of what they know from what they got from higher up from their parents there you know and this becomes generational and some of us have a chance to change it, even tweak it a little bit, and um, and that's just that's just the process, right? It is. We you, you're quite right. We have to remember that our parents did do the best that they could, given what they had, their own life circumstances, their own childhood experiences. You know, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to come to a place of acceptance and forgiveness. Yeah. So um, today I have this, oh my goodness, I have a surprise. Actually the surprise is from me. <laughs> so when I decided exactly two weeks ago, I came to a show with Mr. Lynn Everett, who's here in the, in the audience with us. And he is also a writer in the magazine and he had this great story. And we wanted to discuss this story and he invited me to the show. And I got here and I was just amazed because I love this studio with all the artwork. And uh, to me, I felt like I grew up in a studio, in a dance studio. But um, as soon as the show was over, I was just like, what do I have to do to start my own show? <laughs> so, and they were like, 
just start. And I thought, that's it, just like that. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So exactly two weeks ago, um, I turned to my girlfriend, who is a vocalist, international vocalist, and I said to her, um, I'm doing a show. Do you want to like do an opening number or a jingle? And she agreed. So first time, I have not even heard it yet. So we're going to get my friend Candy Barodi, who wrote this song specifically for this show. And we're going to stream her in. Are we ready to get Candy online? Yes? No? Yes, yeah, she'll be here in any minute. So Candy and I, okay, here she is. Can, oops. Candy, can you hear me? Candy, can you hear me? Yes, I can. So Candy and I go way back. We met as a, a common artist and moms on the Turks and Caicos Islands, Providencialis. And our kids went to the same school and we became friends then. And our friendship has stayed on all this this year. And, you know, I'm the dancer slash singer and she's the singer slash dancer. And um, I am so appreciative and grateful because I knew I came at you last minute and somehow you jumped in there and the words before I finished asking you, you the words were already popping into your head and you said, I got it, I got it, don't worry, I got it. And um, so I am so excited <laughs> to hear what you produce for us today. So Candy, take it away. All right. This is for you, Karina. I love you. Karina, Sunday Dreamer, metaphysician on the shelf, of inspiration and transformation, which led to this manifestation. It's through an island dream, and a sound legacy. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, did that, did that oh, come goodness. through? Did I come through? It did? Okay. Oh my goodness, that was excellent. So would you like to tell us a little bit of the process? What popped into your head when that happened? Go ahead. So I was on my way to um, one of the things that I do. And uh, I couldn't get there the way I was going. So the universe had me grab an Uber. And while I was in that Uber, you called me and it wasn't two weeks ago, babe. It was Friday. <laughs> no, it was Friday. So You're right. It was like three days ago. So I'm in the Uber and you're telling me this amazing, exciting manifestation story about how you're signing the contract and everything's going through. And I'm so excited for you. I'm full of joy and glee. And you said, can you pull something like this off? And I just said, yes. And that's how it goes. You say yes, and then you figure it out. Correct. So I immediately, before I even walked into where I was going, I already had something in my head because you and I have been so close and such good soul sisters that I know you inside and out in a way that it takes to really portray some lyrics that invest in who you truly are. So I had six pages on Saturday, six pages of lines that I wanted to put into a song. And, and then I had to narrow it down to five sentences. So how do you like culminate an entire beautiful soul's life into five sentences? And I think that I pulled it off. So yes, you because did. You are a big dreamer. Oh, thank you. you are, uh, and it's, you go through inspiration and transformation, which did lead you to this manifestation. And uh, you are an island queen, and this is Meta Lifestyle Magazine. And I think that just puts a nice little bow on it, you know? Yes. Well, thank you so One much. I want to say is that the Caribbean beat just came right through for you because we lived on the, in the Caribbean. You're from a Caribbean island, Aruba. And this is a backdrop for many a night that you and I have been out dancing until the sun comes up. And uh, this is the music of our lives. You know, this is the party music. This is the life. This brings joy, happiness, and um, pays homage to your beautiful family in Aruba and your heritage. And 
I love you. I'm so happy and proud to be a part of this show. Thank you. Thank you so much. We love you, love you, love you. And I appreciate the effort and the time and and that you personalize it in such a manner. Um, so thank you. Uh, we will get back. You will be back on a little bit in the show with a different song for us that you also produced with, right? Or wrote, <laughs> sing. You're singing a song for us later again, right? So we will be well, getting no. back. Stay tuned. Don't go far away. We'll be right back after these commercials. And... Um, Take a break and please be there. Don't disappear. So uh, we'll be right back. Very short commercial. Please stay tuned. So um, here I am with Dr. Inga Young. And I'm going to let her just start from scratch because this <laughs> is the most amazing. I'm still trying to figure out how it works. So please, Inga, go ahead, introduce yourself and tell us what this is and how you came about with this uh, allergy kit, like why and like, what was that inspiration behind that? I realized I graduated as an acupuncture physician in Miami in um, 95 and uh, found that some people didn't get the results that I wanted. And I started a quest to find out what the root was and I found that allergies have a lot to do with our health. And this is, I mean, almost, well, it is 30 years ago. And um, allergies are just getting worse and worse. Right. And I, I, I started, you, you know, you sent me your book. Thank you so much. It's, it's a great book. And I started reading and thought, oh, my goodness, because you started by saying, um, we believe, or doctors say allergies are watery eyes, runny nose, you know, the, the cough, she goes, but but you said so much other stuff, headaches, migraines, um, even depression can be part yes. of, of um, allergies. Yes. And, and it's also and uh, affects, uh, you said, kids with ADHD and, and on autism, the spectrum yes. and autism. So, for example, in autistic children who have their temper tantrums and uh, breakdowns and other parents look at these kids' parents and say, oh, you shouldn't have any kids. Right. But um, they have an allergic reaction. It's not bad behavior. And uh, it's the same with ADD and ADHD. They can be allergic to something painted on the walls or whatever. Noise. Noise really or drives noise them crazy. And touch. Yeah, all yeah. these things. So, um, and for myself, I did not think I had any allergies. Looking back, I, back, I realized, yes, I had lots of them. I developed uh, fibromyalgia that wow. nothing helped and I tried everything. Not until I started to treat myself for allergies, it started to go away. Wow. So it took probably four or five years, but totally gone now. Wow. So, so who are the people you usually treat though? Like what, what kind of so, symptoms are they used to come to you? So um, uh, I realized by treating myself that aches and pains had to do with allergies. So I started to treat every patient, even if they came for knee pain, they said, oh, I have knee pain, I don't have allergies. But I had better results and faster results oh, wow. when I treated allergies also. And then I started to get children with autism or on the spectrum, ADD, ADHD, and the results were amazing. Wow. But, but a lot of people, they lived far away. Mm -hmm or they didn't want to take the time mm -hmm. and the cost. Right. So to, and often they had more than one child. And if one in, person in the family has allergy, everybody else has too. So that's why I started to exper experiment with my patients, <laughs> <laughs> what I could put together and for them to do it on themselves and their children so they can take responsibility for their own health. Right and help their children and don't have to run back and forth right. for treatments. So that's how it really started. And um, in 2006, I launched the allergy kit on the internet. So it has been a long time. <laughs> so I know, you know, we've, we've, we've also known each other from being in some coaching um, programs together and she's been trying to explain this to me for a while now. <laughs> But it's hard to explain without a demonstration. So are we going to do a little bit of a demonstration okay. right now? Okay. Okay. So 
Do anyone want to <coughs> volunteer? Kiara, Sergio, anybody want to volunteer? Sergio is going to volunteer. Thank you, Sergio. Okay, so let's see how we, we can get Sergio on, on camera. Well, you, you have to stand in front of her. So, should we? So, I, I could. Should I muscle test? Because normally, when St I stand, stand here, sit here. Come, come on this side. It's when okay. I turn around. When Face I her. when Face I tell the allergy kids, people normally don't know how to muscle test. Even though I have on my website, there is some video about muscle testing, mm -hmm. and uh, on another website, they can also order. All right. Find more. Oh, I forgot the microphone <laughs> <laughs> behind. So I don't know if I can muscle test you, but so I'm going to test to, uh, pressure, but it's not, you know, that you, I can see how you are. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine this is like a pound. Okay. Say my, my name is. My name is. What's your name? My name is Sergio. Okay. Say my name is. Uh, Alexander. My name is Alexander. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I do here now is for demonstration only. So for example, the treatments is the begins with the first, the very first while. The first treatments are, are um, numbered one through seven and they are being treated with one through seven every 48 hours. The first file contains egg, chicken, milk and dairy, vitamin C, and parasites. So I have vegans who say, I don't eat anything of uh, animals, but we are animals and we came from an egg. And that's why we have to start with it. And when we are born, we get milk, then we start to eat vitamin C, and we are warm-blooded animals, so we all have parasites. So if you hold on to this, and I'm going to test you for this, you see, you're weak on that. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, just a little fake, almost, uh, uh, treatment. This is a stress vial. I'm going to, just going to stress, uh, test for how it is. It's also a little weak. <laughs> so hold this, and like, hold this, you take them like this. I mean, when you're treating, it's different. You hold it over your belly button. If you can hold them like that. And then I'm going to shine over can can we see that maybe if you turn a little bit so i'm shining through the vials for about 30 seconds and then if you can take your hat off <laughs> then we're going to do the head so i'm see how i can do it. nope you hold them over the belly button so i'm just going to go if you turn a little bit so you go over the head, starting on, I don't know if I'm getting, we only see half of him. Can you raise it up a little bit? For the camera? Yeah. Okay. And then we do the ears for a few seconds. And then the other ear. And then we go back here. So I'm, see, I'm going to see, because you do that twice. So you start and, be, and end on the uh, belly button. So you do the head twice and ears twice, and then you do the belly button three times. I'm just going to check, because this is just a short demonstration. So resist me again. Okay. Can you feel that you're stronger? Okay, yeah, yeah, I think I am. Yeah. So that is how it works. Mm -hmm. And then you do, um, we can finish afterwards. Okay. Wow. And then you do something called the four gates, where you start on the, on the le it's a Chinese treatment, start on the left hand and the left foot and the right foot and the left hand and end up and close the circuit on the wow. left hand. Thank you, Sergio. So Thank that you. is the treatment. It's very simple. It's simple. So, so there's nothing, when you talk about files, it's nothing, you don't even open this up. You don't you open them. You just hold it in your so hand. So you can use them for the whole family. And if, you, if something doesn't really stick, Mm -hmm. You say, for example, eggs. You still feel bad when you eat eggs. Right. I can do, give an example. I had a, a girl who was two, no, she was three, almost four. She got four when she had started the treatments. Her mother didn't want to do it on her, so she came to my office. And um, I treated her twice with the first vial. And when she came back the third time, she was still weak. Oh. 
So I broke it down. So I tested her for egg white, egg yolk, chicken, milk, and vitamin C. She was strong on everything but chicken. Oh, wow. And the mother said, oh, that's almost all I gave her. <laughs> So I treated her for only chicken. So that happens sometimes. You have to break it down and do just that thing. Wow. And said, don't give her chicken for a couple of weeks. She came back. Oh, and the reason she wanted the treatment is she was covered in eczema from her scalp down to her toes. Wow. She came back and didn't have one spot. Would this work with like psoriasis also and stuff like that? Yes. There are other things to do for psoriasis too. Wow. But it, it has to do what you eat. Correct. So psoriasis has a lot to do with dairy. With dairy. Oh, okay. So. All right. Well, that's, that's interesting. So would you, uh, do you have an offer for our guests? Yes. Or I, audience? Yes. If they go to uh, my, I have the allergykit.com, but I also have a, like more personal website. It's called dringe.com. It's D-R-Y-N-G-E.com. And you can go and you can click on download uh, 10 surprising uh, effects of allergies that you may not know. Not exactly that way, but you can Something click like on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 10 surprising facts about allergies about that you that. may not know. Just a little freeze in my brain. Right. No, it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. We all get through that sometimes. Well, this was pretty exciting. Does anyone have any questions? Nandini, nothing? All right. So... Thank and I can also tell that I have 30 days money back guarantee and I have less than 5% <laughs> returns, which so prove that it really works. Go ahead. Works. So Dr. Inga created this kit from scratch herself. So if there's any uh, sponsors or anyone that want to partner up with her, please uh, reach out to her at any given time. And we never know where this is going to go. Know, it yeah. might just I am be the next I'm looking for an allergy investor. Without the nice part is you're not taking any allergy exactly. pills and no chemicals. Things anything. So that's the best part. So thank you very much. Thank you. And look forward to hearing more about you. And next coming up now is again, we're going to be talking a different type of allergy, not so much, but just more health. Um, can we go ahead and pan over to Miss Gina? So today we have Gina Kearney and Gina, and I am just going to Go and have a seat and let you do some talking. Wonderful. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Gina Carney. I am a registered herbalist and flower essence practitioner. And I'm so happy to be with you here today on your first show um, and seeing your guests and this beautiful set that we're on. So I help people learn how to use herbal medicine, um, not only using it for their own health, but I also teach. I am the creator of the Budding Herbalist program, which is an eight-part in-person program at our herb shop in Jupiter, Florida. And in that program, we're teaching people enough to be dangerous. <laughs> I like to say, you know, how to use the plants for yourself, your family. We go through all of the body systems. So not only is that um, something that I do in person, but it's also available online. And really, everything that we do at Herbs and Owls, from our beautiful herb shop, um, down to just having conversations with people in places like this, is to help people form relationships, to begin to look at nature and work with the plants in real and meaningful ways that help them blossom and bloom into who they are becoming. So there's a magical thing that happens when we connect with nature for our own health and wellness. And um, yeah, that's what brings me here today. So thank you. Yeah, it's so great to have you here. So when you say about herbs, uh, you have them in, in packets, like how, how do you distribute that? How does that work? Yeah, so we have over 300 uh, flowers, roots, herbs, barks, <laughs> leaves, <laughs> fungi, dried mushrooms, uh, you name it, at Herbs and Owls. And depending upon what people are working with, whether they're seeking allergy relief or help with sleep or stress or various things, um, they are making teas or using herbal extracts, which we call tinctures. Mm -hmm. uh, we have herbal hair rinses, all kinds of things. So um, when you're looking for something general, you just be making you know, a lovely cup of tea that's supporting your body, maybe getting in some extra vitamins and minerals. Or if it's something more specific, then we work with specific herbs in specific ways to help you. Yeah, okay. and work with plants. 
So if someone needs something, they can get it online, they call you or yeah. do so they come in? So as a registered herbalist, I work one-on-one -on -one with clients. Um, typically, we're meeting for an hour and a half for a first client consult. And then out of that, I give very specific recommendations based on goals that we set together, right? So we have some ideas of and ways that we want to begin working with the plants, and then they'll um, take those teas or work in various ways, sometimes with practices of just grounding and helping to reduce their stress and anxiety which is really the first step in any kind of wellness program because if we can get the person to relax their body can then begin to heal right so um, yeah coming out of that there are very specific recommendations in the programs however people are learning how to think about plants for themselves right what is it that they need in their daily life how can they introduce different plants and their crafting and you know that's our goal right to teach as many people as possible the benefits of many different plants correct well they're there to help us and we're there to help them so <laughs> and you know Nandine is going to have a story about plants yeah. in a minute so and this it's going to be a really exciting one. Um, so we're going to go to commercials. And once we come back, we will have Candy once more with a, a song that she's going to sing for us, bring us back in. So stay tuned. Don't go far away. We'll be right back. And we're back. And we still have Gina Kearney with us, a herbalist of uh, herbs and owls. First of all, why owls? <laughs> <laughs> We're asked this all the time. So herbs, of course, because of the plants, but owls is all about teaching, you know, the wise old owl. Wise. And, uh, we're, I like that. We're constantly teaching. Okay. I actually have a very, very good testimonial of my own experience with Gina. Um, I can't remember how I came across her website, um, but I set up a consultation and it has helped me so very much. You know, I had... Um, some digestive issues that you know I've been managing for quite some time now and I liked how Gina was very very specific she didn't jump to conclusions she asked me so many different questions and very penetrating questions to try to really understand what was going on with my body and from those questions she made certain suggestions and we tried a few things you know it's not wasn't like the very first thing did the trick we, it was an experiment while she was, you know, learning what was going on with me. And now I am, a, you know, a dedicated customer of Gina's where I drink her tea, her herbal tea, a special blend that she has made specifically for me um, that helps me. So thank you, Gina. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I guess I'll be coming for something to do with sleep. <laughs> can't get enough sleep for some reason I get a few hours I have like two and a half three hours intermittent sleeping um, I'm surprised I'm sitting here but somehow you know the show must go on Gina thank you so much for thank coming you. on and being my first guest <laughs> Woohoo! I, I did want to just add one thing um, if you go to our website at herbsandowls.com and you click on community we have a seven-day free trial for anyone who'd like to join us in our online community where we're doing live classes and herbal challenges every single month see you there that is excellent thank you so much appreciate that like I said we have a show filled with information, education, stuff that probably we don't even know. So thank you so much for tuning in. And now we're going to switch gear a little bit. And I have a new person I just met just recently at an event on a weekend. And his name is Hassan Thomas. And he's doing something that's very dear to my heart, which is teaching financial literacy to the youth that we all know is so much needed in this environment and it's not enough is done at school so uh hassam go ahead and tell us a little bit about this for sure for sure so uh my name is hassan thomas ceo and founder of fy fly which stands for for your information financial literacy and investing so it's a little word on the word fly for that younger audience high school college arena and i just feel that it's so needed because when i was in high school and college I was a business management major with a minor in accounting and marketing. So I felt like I had above average financial intelligence. But what about the people who weren't finance majors? What about the people that weren't business majors? What about those people? So I thought 
if their parents didn't understand the education, they weren't able to teach that to their students. So their students are literally graduating high school or college without understanding how to budget, without understanding how to save, without understanding how to make and manage that money. So that's where I felt like I could come in and be a voice for that younger generation and to see, and I'm not sitting up here like I'm a super expert. I'm a person that is progressing and going along the journey with them because building wealth is a journey. Building wealth and understanding financial literacy takes time. So that's why I'm here. I have uh, my first book, as you see here, it's called From College to COVID, 24 Lessons Learned During the Lockdown to Increase Your Drive, Destiny, and Dollars. And this is a compilation of the five lessons that I learned going from college to COVID, starting my entrepreneurial journey, plus 19 lessons from my podcast guests that I interviewed every Friday. We like to call it Fin Lit Friday. Um, but I'm just super excited to be here and meet and network with great like-minded individuals like yourself, Karina. Thank you so much. I love your shirt, Creating Everyday Opportunities. Yes, CEO. <laughs> we are all CEOs of our life. We're all 100%. creating everyday opportunity. And we need to, we need to own that. So um, you are working with the youth, but so where do you reach them? Like at where? Do you, at school? Is it after school program? What, what exactly are you doing? For sure, for sure. So it's a multitude of media. Uh, we go to high schools and colleges and speak. And then we also do live podcasts at high schools and colleges, and we call it edutainment. So of <laughs> course, entertainment and education, mixing that together, kind of giving the students what they, um, what they want with the, edu with the entertainment, and then giving them what they need with the education. Because I feel like whenever we're talking to high school students, whenever we're talking to college students, we can't just talk at them. We have to really show them why this stuff is important, why financial literacy matters, and how it um, shows up in our everyday lives. We're all here. We couldn't have got here without some type of money for gas. We couldn't have got here without some, even if we didn't take a car. We couldn't have got here without bus fare or however you got here. So it's clear that everything we do revolves around money. So we need to be educated on that money to you know, live a successful uh, life. So, you know, we still have a lot of issues with our belief about money. You know, mm -hmm. we all grew up with the usual belief. You know, in my house was money don't grow on trees. Yep. Who do you think I am? Rockefeller, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And, um, and they, we, they don't play finance. We don't talk money. Money is almost like a taboo. Mm -hmm. and, and we need to get out of that. So how, sure. how else, not just for kids, but I think we need to do that for adults as well. You know, we're still there with, oh, money is, you know, mm -hmm. the root of all evil. And we all know it's not money. It's the love, <laughs> you know, the addiction. The, uh, but um, how, else, how else can we get that word out? This is education. That's Ongoing. What it truly starts with is education because what I found out is that you fear what you don't understand. Correct. So if we can take some away the fear, if we can take the fear out of finance, mm. then you'll start seeing some progression. You'll start seeing people truly understand because like I mentioned, everything that we do revolves around money. So if we can get the education, we can start seeing because when you think about it, everything is harder on the opposite end of not knowing and understanding financial education. It costs more for you to buy a car. It costs more for you to buy a house. Sometimes you may not even be able to get a good job if you have a credit score that's not as high as that company wants it to be. So everything we do starts with educating ourselves and that's why we have the podcast, the FY Fly podcast. That comes on every Friday. We interview entrepreneurs, independent artists, athletes, because Everything we do revolves around money. Yep. So we're able to talk to a lot of different people and relate it back to how they manage that money to get to their position, how they uh, invested that money to continuously build wealth over time. So I think that's where the true, um, true change will occur once we find different ways to really bridge that gap between that entertainment and education, make it fun, make it cool, make it fly. <laughs> for those uh, you know, younger folks, and honestly for everybody, because as you know, a lot of people weren't taught, and we can't blame people no. for not knowing something they were never taught. Correct. 
Well, thank you very much. Uh, so we all know, and your website again, say it again. Yes, yes. So you can check out our podcast, FYI Fly. Uh, what it stands for is for your information, financial literacy, and investing. We have a podcast that drops every Friday. We actually won podcast of the year at the Southern Entertainment Awards last year. So we're going up every year, and uh, we're just spreading this message. My goal of FY Fly is to make impact, make income, and have fun. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Mm. Thank what you, you again, Ms. What you just said, sorry, Karina, made me think of, um, you know, the saying that we have that money is the root of all evil. And we don't understand how that impacts our psyche and our thinking around mm. money. Um, it makes me think of this uh, woman I heard um, talking about a seminar that she went to to achieve financial abundance from a mm. spiritual perspective. And the speaker came out on the stage and he just pulled out wads of money from his pocket. And he goes, I love money. Mwah, 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 mwah. I yeah. love money. <laughs> and the audience were like, oh my God, that is so crass. It is so, you know, is he a spiritual person? And mm -hmm. he said, what were you just thinking? That this is just so ugly and I'm not a spiritual person? He says, that is why. I'm on this stage and mm. you are not. Wow. Yeah. So we have to change yes. this saying that we all grew up with that yes. money is the root of all evil. It isn't. Yes. We need money, as you were saying, Hassan. We need money for every single thing every. that we do in our lives. We need money for everything that we want to achieve in our lives. And until mm -hmm. we can say to ourselves, I love money because it will help me to do good things in this world. Yes. So thank you so much, Hassan, for yes, the work that you're doing. For, that. for sure. But for you know, sure. I'm going to piggyback on what you said about you know the, the spiritual connection, and we you know we all understand everything is flow, and to keep the flow going, you know what goes around comes around. You know we say money is currency, currency is electricity. Electricity never stops; mm -hmm. it just keeps going. So we also have to come into the mindset, especially for entrepreneurs and small business owners that when you ask for free, are you willing to give your stuff up for free? So you, again, we have to remember when you say, I am going to purchase your program, I'm gonna participate in this coaching, whatever that give, whatever the money you put into there, that, that investment, it's saying, I'm willing to invest in myself, someone else, well then that money's gonna come back to you. But if you don't let it out, it can't come back. Right, coming from a metaphysical perspective. Absolutely, and um, you know, one of the affirmations that we can use in our everyday lives is like, every dollar that I spend returns to me tenfold. Mm -hmm. I think that's such a positive way at, at, at looking at how we spend money. You know, because everybody, you know, we've been brought up to think that we have to hoard, we have to hoard mm -hmm. money, yeah. not thinking that we really need to be exchanging. It's, it's an energy, as you say, we need so to be exchanging exchange. it. And the more that we exchange it in love is the more that love is returned to us. Correct. Thank you very much, Hassan, for joining us today. That was very educational and informational. And um, I'm just, I'm so excited with my first group of people because what a bunch of experts that showed up today. And I'm hoping we can switch over and get the last song from Candy. Candy, are you still here with us? I hope so. Hey, let's do it. Let's do this, girlfriend. Yeah. All right, girl. So I decided on a song last minute universe just pointed this out to me on my phone, so I'm just going to sing from my phone. Stars shining bright above Dream of me. 
Candy's cake. something pretty interesting and I can't even explain what this is obviously I'm gonna let Nandini do it but I had my own personal experience with her one day that I visit her at her house um, should we like do this little transformation here because you have to see this I went to the house and this beautiful music was playing in the background and <gasps> put it to the center and um, and finally I asked you know then the music skyrocketed and this equipment is sitting next to me and I'm thinking what's the music actually she stopped me she goes you're making my plants excited <laughs> and I said what do you mean you're making my plants excited she goes the plant was playing very soft music but you walked in with your energy and the music went up and I thought oh I don't need my mic you're right sorry so um, 
she says, you're making my plants excited. And I said, what do you mean? But we, we want to see demonstration. Hold on, here she goes. Mm -hmm. So Nandini here has this equipment that when she attach it to the leaves, so would you like to show them? Yeah. Go so, ahead and explain. Okay, so this is called um, the music of the plants. And this is a device that was created in a spiritual eco community in Northern Italy called Damanhur. That is D-A-M-A-N-H-U-R. If you've never heard of them, I encourage you to look them up on the internet. The amazing work that they're doing. And one of the missions of Damanhur is to reunite what they consider to be the three mother worlds, which is humanity, the plant world, and nature spirits. So they started work over 40 years ago, creating a device that would convert the, the electrical, the natural electrical impedance within a plant from between the plant roots and the leaves into musical notes. And why, why would they do that? If you think about it, we are music is one of the ways that we communicate. Uh, we just listen to you know, some beautiful singing and that would have touched us quite deeply. Music touches us in a way that I don't think anything else does. So when we listen to the music of the plants, we're connecting with nature in a very, very special way. And I was so happy to hear that Gina actually has a device that she uses when she's creating her different teas and her herbal essences and her flower um, extracts. Um, so what I've done here, we have one part of the device goes into the root. So this goes into the root. And then we attach the other bit to the leaf. And I think that because there's so much activity, plants are very, very, very sensitive. Okay. So we so can okay. talk for a while and hopefully um, this beautiful plant will start to play some music for us what, she was playing yeah earlier. you did hook her up earlier and she started playing f for us and mm -hmm. we wanted to show you how it works there we go While she starts to play, she will play in a minute because she started just now. Hopefully you did hear that. But when I heard this music, it just touched me so very deeply. And I knew that it had to be a part of my life in some way. And I wasn't sure exactly how. I started to share it with uh, you know, friends in different circles. Hopefully you just heard that. And um, people were fascinated with it, but they didn't really know what to do with it. They said, you know, this is wonderful. This is, you know, really magical, but they weren't sure how to really apply it in their lives. And I realized I was speaking to the wrong group of people. I realized that I shouldn't be speaking to children really, because as adults, we are already so conditioned. Our minds are quite, you know, narrow in what we accept and what we don't accept. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So I wrote a children's book. It's the very first children's book um, that introduces the music of the plants device to children. I have created a platform that's called Nandi, and it provides a reimagining of children's education around nature because children now need to be educated in a way that my generation wasn't. We are destroying the earth and the children are our future. So we are nurturing the nature leaders of tomorrow, today, because we need to educate them on preservation and conservation and sustainability. So I hope that in listening to this music, in understanding the, the mission of Nandi, that you will you know, support us in some way. Um, I have a very uh, special going on right now. The, the print version of my book is usually 1616. And um, if you go to my website, nandymotp.org, 
you can, there's, there's a voucher, you can use Nandi, N-A-N-D-I 505. Uh, to get the print version for 1111. And if you purchase the book at that price, you will also receive a free, fun, and engaging lesson uh, on nature for kids. Yay, thank you. I'm going to just put this plan down two seconds. I think this plant has more, it's more afraid of the camera than we are. <laughs> See, you just need to move it away. Or I think it likes when I touch it. <laughs> right? We're connected. So there we are. So, oh my goodness, look how fast that hour went by. Was that fun or what? Yes. Go ahead, cheers. Congratulations. We, thank <laughs> you. That was beautiful. I loved, uh, I loved hearing about that. I did not know that you had that book. That's so lovely. Yeah, thank it's you. wonderful. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. We had an amazing show. Yes, thank you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hassan. Lynn, love you. Thank you for coming on and supporting me like you've always done. And again, thank you for introducing me to these fabulous people from the Brooklyn Cafe, uh, Frankie and Dawn. And thank you for my guest. And um, I look forward to seeing you next week. I already have an amazing group of people that's showing up next week. So looking forward to see you. Stay tuned. Again, Karina Felix, the Meta Lifestyle Magazine, the source for enhancing, impacting, and transforming lifestyles. Aruba Island Queen, Metal Lifestyle Magazine.